What's up and welcome to the channel. My name is Hackshot and thank you for joining us. Today I'm going to tell you why I hate this specific carry gun so much. Some of you probably already know what it is and that's okay. All right, but before we start, there's two links down below. The first two links. One is to my brand new channel where I'm focusing on music and I'm also focusing on hanging out with y'all in live stream while we play some Call of Duty. I've been having an awesome time interacting with y'all. Um, a ton of y'all have already actually joined that channel, which is awesome. I would like to get as many people over here to join me over there as well. All right, it's Hexshot Unplugged. It's me in another capacity. And I just, I love hanging out with you guys. I can't do it here. We can't pick up guns and live streams and all that kind of stuff. But over there, we could play some Call of Duty and have some awesome conversations. So I'd love to have y'all over there. And also, Mrs. Hexshot started her channel, which is going amazing. She's showing off Ruger, uh, our giant schnauzer, and she's doing like a vlog type of thing. She's doing awesome. So please, the first two links down below. Pause the video, subscribe. That's it, all right? Also, if you own this gun that I'm going to tell you that I hate so much, don't take any offense to it. If you love it and you carry it, Dude, that's all that matters. My opinion, just the guy here on the internet, really doesn't mean a whole lot, all right? It is literally just my opinion. You know what they say about opinions. I got one too, all right? So that's all I'm gonna give you. If you like what you like, you carry it, awesome, dude, all right? But I hate this gun, <laughs> and I'm just gonna tell you why. And it's, and it's, there, there's a couple of things that really played in here. By the way, our patrons, we thank you guys so much for what you do as well for our channel. All right, so let's get into this, man. This gun, you probably already know what it is. You may know what it is. This is the Springfield Armory Hellcat. And when I did the review, I thought it was okay. I talked about some of the things I don't like, like I do in every review, right? It became more apparent and obvious to me, the shortcomings of this gun whenever we took out the Max 9, the Shield Plus, and the P365, and the P365XL. So what we have here is a gun by design, I think was really awesome as far as the size to weight to capacity ratio is really awesome. And then there's also an alleged uh, lawsuit from Springfield Armory or six hours getting, or six hours suing them over magazine patent infringement or something that's going on as well. Whatever the case may be, or however that, that may, the chips may fall on that is besides the point. So we have a gun that Weight to capacity ratio, I think, is amazing. Uh, actually, really, really good. Grip texturing is awesome, and the fact it comes optic ready is also really awesome. But the love for this gun, besides aesthetically, because aesthetically it does look good, but the love for me personally just really stops there. Okay, and let's first talk about the sights. Now, you may be saying, well, yeah, but you can put sights on it, you can put an optic on it, and all that. Okay. You may be able to do that, but not everybody who spends $500 plus on a gun after they bought ammo and a holster and all this kind of stuff can go out and spend $150 on sights or $250 on an optic. You get where I'm going with this. When you spend this much money on a gun, you expect that you're going to get certain things. Now, I'm not saying that these sights don't work, and I'm not saying that this gun is inherently inaccurate. What I'm saying is in my hands, Miss Hagshot's hands, it has proven kind of time and time again that it is not as accurate as the Shield Plus P365 XL and the even the Ruger Max 9. Um, and the, I think the sights have a lot to do with it. Now I do like the contrast. I like that there's a, uh, a, a bright yellow dot up front, but this whole drop in the bucket style to me is inherent. It, it is just worse than a three dot setup in my opinion. It's just like Glock sights to me but I almost feel like I can hit with Glock sights better in some weird way. There's something here that I just don't, it just doesn't jive with us. I'm not sure why. And when we shot these guns back to back to back to back, it was like I was missing the first couple of shots, first three shots right off the rip. There's only two guns I've ever thrown in my life, literally thrown. <laughs> the Diamondback AM2 and the Beretta APX, literally chunked them. <laughs> Miss Tech Shot had to get the Diamondback AM2 out of the woods because I was hell bent on just leaving it there. Okay, so it's like that for me. It's like you, all right. It's like you pick up the guns, right, and and you're like, man, I'm a pretty good shot. And then all of a sudden, you pick up a same type of gun, and you completely suck ass again. It's like starting over. I don't know what it is, man. Also, I think it's a little bit too small 
for the potency of the nine millimeter. Okay, you there is clearly more snap in this gun when you fire it than I think there even should be, to be honest with you. Because again, if you go with a little bit more size than the shield, or and a little bit more weight, even the P365, it, the P, I mean, they are almost identical, but yet the P365 seems to manage the recoil better, okay? So, <clears throat> I think it's a little bit too small. I am not a fan of the sights on this gun at all, and it's, a, it's just a little bit too snappy when you have these other options out there. Another one that I'm looking forward to getting is the uh, the new one from Taurus. I think it's the AX4 or, or whatever their nomenclature that they use is. Um, it looks pretty dang similar to this gun in size-wise, and I think it's even 11 plus one capacity as well. We'll just have to see. Maybe it is too small, I don't know. But there's only so small, in my opinion, that you can go on a gun like this and still have it where it's you know comfortable to shoot. Again, if you carry this gun and you shoot, you know, 50, at 50 yards, you shoot dime size holes every single time, dude, I, I, I'm happy. We can be friends. It's okay. This gun, we just cannot do that. We cannot do it with this gun where I feel like one of those other options that we've reviewed so far that I've already mentioned, I could do that with probably not dime size at 50 yards, but you get the point. I can hit my targets. And that's the most important thing, is being able to hit targets with a self-defense gun. You have to have target style accuracy, but you need to feel confident enough when you pull this up, if somebody were gonna attack you, that you'll be able to get shots on target and you don't hit granny 30 yards in the opposite <laughs> direction. You know what I mean? So that's what you don't want. So that's kind of where I'm at with it, man. I do absolutely hate this gun. I'm gonna keep it around for comparison's sake. I still have the four gun comparison that we we can do. I I just it's just not for me, man. It's just like the Glock 43X. People were raving about it. Oh, the Glock 43X. Oh, it's so awesome. I get it, and I'm like, this is too long for a concealed carry gun. They just lengthened it. Maybe they changed some other things that I don't know about. But it, it, they made it too long. Now, whatever. I guess I'll, I guess I could just be different. But I just don't like this. I think there's better options. That's just my opinion. But of course, I want to hear what yours is down in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. And as always, hold them down. Ooh, I had something come back from that target and hit me in the eye. That's why you gotta wear eye protection, dude. Um, I feel like I have to concentrate so hard with this gun, where the others just seem like they feel more natural to me. This is like, God, if I, if I, I mean, obviously I'm not from getting the fundamentals on any of these guns, but this one just feels like it's so much more just, I don't know, man. I, I have a lot of trouble with this gun hitting consistently. That shows that it's pretty much in line with the other ones, but still I just, I don't know. I feel like I have to try so hard with this gun to be able to shoot. Maybe it's just a little too small. Maybe it needs a little bit longer barrel. Um, it definitely feels better with that, with that extended uh, magazine though, I will say that. I know this is gonna suck. Let me make sure everything's still recording, hold on. I don't like this gun. You got two minutes on this one. You should be good with that. Okay.
right. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm.